They're fun. They're practical. They're easy to ride, and they're inexpensive to own and operate. They're the Yamaha Tri-Motos. You can have a good, good time with your whole family. You can all get on your three-wheelers and go trailing around and go dunin. I do a lot of hunting. I do a lot of riding in the woods. I do a lot of scouting now the season's over. And without one, a man couldn't get around. We originally purchased these Yamaha Tri-Motos to irrigate off of, where we were using a pickup that ran us 200 to 250 dollars a week for fuel we were doing it with this trimoto for about 20 dollars a week as far as going anywhere i've been through water streams up in the mountains down in the desert i haven't found a place yet that you know i couldn't go and have a good time doing it oil the chains once a week clean the air cleaners we've had three of these now for 18 months and that's all we've done to any of them i'm here to win because i'm racing for a living and i want to ride the right bike and yamaha is definitely the right bike and now, Yamaha has a complete line of Trimotos. Two strokes and the new four strokes. As tough and powerful as only Yamaha can make them. Built for everything you like to do on three wheels. Yamaha's YT125 gets you through because a two stroke gives you lots of power in a lightweight package. And Yamaha gives you all the right stuff. So the YT125 won't quit on you when the going gets tough. The shift linkage operates smoothly and positively under the most difficult conditions. And the linkage itself isn't vulnerable to impact damage. The chain is enclosed to shield it from rocks, mud, and sand. The rear disc brake is also enclosed, and it's fitted with long-wearing pads, which are the industry standard. The YT125 might be small, but its two-stroke engine won't quit on you. A unique high-mounted air intake and dependable electronic CDI hot sparking ignition keep you out in front of the pack while the others have lost your trail. Damn that For more two-stroke performance, it's the Yamaha YT175, built to take on the country. The fastest and most powerful three-wheeler in its class. With terrain-leveling telescopic front fork suspension, a front drum brake and a skid plate to protect the engine. A tubular steel frame with strong, thick wall construction that leaves the pressed steel frames used by the competition behind. To maintain momentum when you're shifting from first to second in mud, water, or sand, the YT-175, like all Yamaha Trimotos, places neutral at the bottom of the shift pattern. The YT-175 also has a strong 520 O-ring chain with sealed-in lubrication for dependability and long life, plus an easy chain adjustment system. The two-stroke YT-175, now with even more low RPM torque than before, it's got the power. Yamaha builds Trimotos only one way, your way. So when you asked us for four-stroke power, we gave it to you. A new generation of four-stroke Tri-Motos that will keep you in front of the pack. The YTM 200. A compact 200cc four-stroke single makes it go with strong low-end torque. Call it pulling power and a crankshaft counterbalancer for smooth running plus electronic ignition for reliability. The YTM 200's pull starter is connected to an automatic compression release, so it's easy to start. Because this four-stroke is built the Yamaha way, it's easy to handle. Telescopic front forks smother the bumps. Lightweight, so it's easy to ride. And there's that predictable four-stroke power. Just dial it on. The YTM 200. It's tame enough to ride every day, but it's still got that Yamaha thrill for weekends. There's also a Trimoto built just to work for a living. Tough as a tractor. Sensible as a Yamaha. The YTM 200E. Yamaha's workhorse. It starts with a strong 200cc four-stroke engine. Power that starts out strong and stays strong. With a two-stage automatic clutch for smooth operation. A four-stroke with no hassles either. Electric starting, so the Yamaha does the work, not you. 
electronic ignition bathed in oil to keep it away from the elements. Best of all, shaft drive, a Yamaha exclusive. So there's no chain to adjust, ever. The YTM 200E comes ready to work with front and rear racks and a trailer hitch, all standard. And it has a powerful 14 amp hour battery that won't let you down. Of course, there's no reason a workhorse has to ride like a mule. So the Tri-Moto 200E has front forks and larger tires for better handling. You can ride it all day. If you're not quite ready to call it quits at the end of the day, go ahead. The YTM 200E is more than 20 pounds lighter than Honda's Big Red. So even though you know it'll keep working all day, it never stops being fun. There's more than one way to have fun on a three-wheeler. And if you want to have some more fun, but without getting serious about it, then you've come to the right place. The Yamaha YTM 225 Deluxe. Fun is an engine that gives you good power, but anywhere in the RPM range you call for it. So the Deluxe has a 225cc four-stroke engine. Just set yourself on the standard wide foot pegs, take a seat on the long motocross-style saddle, hit the electric starter, grab the motorcycle-type throttle, and just go. You don't have to get your race face on to have fun with the 225 Deluxe. You get all the good stuff with the Deluxe too. Front forks, front drum brake, and a rear disc brake that is the industry standard. Shaft drive and monoshock rear suspension, plus a strong double cradle frame with a long wheelbase and wide track for predictable handling. Steady steering at low speeds. Light handling when the revs are up. This is one three-wheeler where you don't have to see red to have a good time. Because the YTM 225 Deluxe is a tri-moto built to give you the maximum comfort you want. There's a lot of different ways to go three-wheeling. If you're just starting out, if you've got chores to do, if you're getting away from it all, or just having a good time. Come on. No matter how you like to ride, there's a Yamaha Trimoto built for you. Two strokes, four strokes, the complete line. Because you weren't meant to ride with the pack. Because you don't follow anyone. Which one should you take home with you? We'll let you make the choice.